That screen is lit up on that hummingbird. And you say there's a grouper down there? Yes, sir. Oh, cool. This is the first time I've used the onyx there from hummingbird. Now I know what they look like. Well, welcome back, folks. We're still sitting off of home of Sassy here. We still got Captain Chris on the boat with us, and we're still jigging these DOA swimming mullet and uh, hoping to show you one of these great big gags. Kind of easy fishing. All we're doing is basically kind of just dropping them down. We figured out that the hole's right back here. He said that the uh, bite usually slows down after you throw a couple artificial. So we might be going to live bait here pretty soon, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Drop them all. 20 foot, huh? That ain't much drop. <laughs> no. Uh oh, there uh -oh. you go. That looks like a good one. A little better, for sure. Get this guy in. Watch you do a little work. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a nice color. Is that the right color? Oh, yeah. Not oh, yeah. a bad fish. Oh, yeah. I think it's uh, sandwiches at seagrass tonight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to look that way. Oh, there you go. Shallow water grouper on a DOA swimming mullet. And that's my favorite color. You know, everywhere I've ever fished and thrown that lure, I've caught fish that's on it. Enough. That is. Look, you knocked the eye right off. That is the ticket with that. Awesome fish. Check that. Oh, God. He's still got plenty of life in him after you whooped him. Oh, yeah. But you think he's uh, he's one good for seagrass tonight? Yes, yeah, sir. He's, he's right there. Awesome grouper. 21 foot of water on the big sticks. We're using the big offshore stuff on these. You would not believe how hard these grouper pull. Unbelievable. If y'all ever get a chance, definitely come see Chris. I'm ready for one. How about you? That's, right. I'd like to see that. When you leave fish to find fish, you usually don't find fish. So when this bite runs out here, we're gonna go in and do his specialty, which is some of that real shallow water grouper stuff. So we've already changed baits. We stopped in this morning and saw, what's your name, Bait Fish Bonnie? Miss Bonnie. Miss Bonnie up at the bait barn up there. Right on the way out, we got pinfish and uh, what'd you get there? Threadies? Dead thread fin. Dead threadies. So we're going to uh, whack a couple of fish. We'll see what happens. Oh, son. <laughs> he tore it. He'll come back and eat it. He's, there he is. There he is, dude. Oh, that's a kingfish, dude. King Look at the fish. size of that kingfish. Oh, lordy. Nice, dude. You might want to back off a minute. Back a little. He's circle hooked. A kingfish. What's a kingfish doing eating a pinfish? That's awesome. That is a nice monster. Nice surprise. Too. That looked like about a 40 pound kingfish when he flashed. Well, the grouper man just turned into the kingfish man. <laughs> One thing about a circle hook is that on a kingfish, once you've got them like that, as long as they, you know, do left hand turns or right hand turns, whatever side of the mouth they're hooked on, you can pretty much catch them as long as they don't bite the leader. It's 80 pounds, so we'll see what happens here. He's right there. Oh, yeah, that's a good king, bro. And he's not ready yet. Uh-oh. I'm going to go up front. Yep. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh! oh right at the end. <laughs> like I said, he was doing left-hand turns, and even though it's 80-pound leader, he turned back around and bit that line. It's, it's cut clean as scissors. If y'all ever seen kingfish teeth, that one, if you'd have put your finger in his mouth, he'd have clipped it. Oh, well. Let's get re-rigged. So you like the way that spot lot works, huh? Oh man, that's great. Unbelievable. I've done it, you know, off the Atlantic, I've done it over there in like 210 feet of water, 300 foot of water. And uh, you don't need 700 feet of anchor line to anchor your boat it changes up. Changes everything. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a thump thump. Uh-oh. Oh, get him, son. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Here we go. I just gave you a Roland Martin son, so you better land on Oh, <laughs> son. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I think that one's gonna have a hook in it. Uh oh, you got me. No, something got me. <laughs> we got color! Holy moly! That's a pretty good fish there, brother. Not bad. Yes, sir. Circle hook in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, we'll show you that. What I didn't do was reel down like he did to get him right there in the corner of the mouth. Y'all check that out. That is the way a circle hook is supposed to work every time. You say the limit on, limit on grouper is what? You get two gags per person, two reds per person when they're in season. That is cool. And that is a uh, laser sharp circle hook right there doing a the job, brother. Look at that fish. Absolutely beautiful. That's the way to do it there, Captain Chris. We're gonna put this one in the box. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna be right back with some more addictive fishing. And uh, it don't get much prettier than that right there, brother. That is awesome. Come get you some sandwiches off a of homosassa.